Okay, please excuse the mess behind me. It just matches my life. <laughs> okay, hello, Internet Allies. How are you doing? So, there's a common phrase that goes around saying, treat people how you would like to be treated. However, I've heard a few people actually change this phrase to treat others how they want to be treated. And I can kind of see why they would say that, to be honest, because I think it's definitely important to take and consider other people's feelings and emotions and take that into account when you are around them and when you're talking to them and when you're spending time with them. However, I think the only reason why you wouldn't treat somebody how they would want to be treated is if they want to be treated in a way which sort of disrespects your own boundaries because then they're not treating you the way you want to be treated. Yeah, I've just been thinking about this quite a lot because I do think it is important to treat each other with respect and with compassion. And especially if you're communicating how you want to be treated to that other person, then they should try and do their best and do everything they can to treat you in that way, if they can. However, at the same time, it's not really your job to change other people. If they're not capable of treating you in the way that you want to be treated and if they're not capable of treating you in a way that you deserve to be treated, then it is not your job to change that. You know, I think you need to try and move on from that person or maybe try and distance yourself from that person if you can. Sometimes it is difficult to do that or, you know, just accept your differences and move on or try and find other more supportive people who can treat you in that way that you want to be treated. However, it is annoying when you do communicate how you want to be treated and that person won't or is reluctant to treat you in that way. I've, ha I've had people in the past where I've said to them, you know, I wish you made more effort in communicating with me, I wish you made more effort in keeping in touch, or, you know, I've said to people, I wish you wouldn't be so critical of me. And when I tell those people how I want to be treated like that, which, you know, I think is sort of, to be honest, reasonable, a reasonable request, I think people have been either reluctant to do that or or not really wanting to do that at all really or not willing to do that and that's really frustrating because really that is th those are sort of very basic things you can do to treat people with respect in my opinion however if people are overstepping your boundaries then you don't have to put up with that because respect always goes both ways no matter regarding race gender sexuality social status anything like that you know it really doesn't matter everybody should really endeavor to treat people with respect and kindness and finally i'm just going to talk about how i want to be treated because obviously i deserve to be treated like royalty let's just be honest <laughs> you know i'm just kidding no <laughs> i think for me i think yeah being treated with Respect and kindness is definitely crucial. People who make the effort, I think, def definitely making an effort in that communication is important to me as well. I think also being consistent is really important as well and communicating values and needs and wants and everything as well. Because I think if somebody was to communicate to me how they wanted to be treated, then I would do my best to treat that person as they would want to be treated. I think also I want to be treated in a way where, you know, I'm taken seriously when I need to be taken seriously, despite me wearing a SpongeBob <laughs> jumper. But also, I want to be around people that I can have a laugh with, have a joke with, and have fun with, really. You know, it doesn't always have to be about important things it doesn't have to always have to be about work or anything like that so yeah so i think it's important to have that balance of you know taking me seriously and also have been able to have fun with me as well and also being able to accommodate for my autism and my needs as well i think that's really important i'll also say just don't be a hypocrite so 
you know, if you want other people to respect you, then you've got to respect other people as well. Um, I think a few things that I've kind of got on my nerves, that I've seen is, like I said in the past, when somebody told me to treat other people how they wanted to be treated and I ended up communicating with that person how I wanted to be treated by saying please don't be too critical, please don't be overly critical and try and balance out, you know, critical comments with positive comments as well. They were not willing to do that, which didn't really make a great deal of sense to me, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope this made sense to you. Uh, just remember to treat other people how they want to be treated. And I hope you're on a wonderful day. And until next time, keep smiling. Bye.